He has no entitlement to come and take stuff that's not his. The people who own the cars this man is breaking into say they want police to catch him. All the break-ins happen within a few blocks of each other in a southwest side neighborhood. Our crime reporter Steve Jefferson spoke to some of those car owners who were left to clean up the mess. The suspect in this case waited until about 2 o'clock in the morning and came here to the Heatherwood Estate subdivision looking for unlocked cars and smashing windows, not knowing the camera was rolling. These are pictures from surveillance cameras recording a man on a serious crime spree breaking in cars and trucks. In some cases, he left behind shattered glass. More than a half dozen people woke up Monday morning to their vehicles vandalized and some of their personal belongings gone. One of the victims includes a longtime Metro police officer who found his window on his unmarked police car broken out. His neighbor, Jennifer Volheim, showed us how she found her car Monday morning. Jennifer and others want the bold burglar caught for what he did. They went through my glove box, my console, my trunk. Um, didn't take anything that I noticed offhand. Um, his vehicle, they shattered the window and took his wallet. I got in my car yesterday morning to leave to run some errands. It was about 9.30, and when I got in my car, I noticed that my glove box was open, my uh, console, everything had been just scattered all over the car. And uh, so I called my husband and said, you know, I don't think you got my car, but, you know, I think somebody did. And, uh, of course, he said, call the police. Although the crime spree happened in the middle of the night, police are making their presence known in the neighborhood. Just like police, people living here in the Heatherwood Estate subdivision are hoping you can help find the suspect. If you can, call Crime Stoppers. You can do so anonymously. That telephone number is 262-TIPS. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.